My name is uh, James Thompson. I am currently a 10th Don in Oishiro Karate, having trained under Oishi Kanye Sensei. I spent uh, a total of 20 years in the military service, uh, a number of tours in Vietnam, doing separate classified missions. And this is uh, me testing for my local Don test. Uh, that was in 1979 in the individual that's uh, doing the testing, testing me is uh, Mr. Takamiyagi Shigeru. Uh, and uh, right behind him is the board, uh, testing board consisting of uh, Master Kanye Uechi, Master Shinjo, uh, and Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> not Miyagi, right? But this, that's me doing uh, Sanching, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Sanching Kata, yes, yeah. And here is a member of the Wichikanye Sensei, uh, Shinjo Sei, and, and this is me, again here, that's doing Kata Seisan. Uh, yeah, again, that's back in 1979. Yeah. And that's Seisan Kata. Yeah. That uh, is a regular motion. That's not speeded up. Uh, uh, let me see. And, Master Shinjo gives me the thumbs up there, so that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> and this is Sansei Ryukata, with that little... Yeah. For the, this, testing for this rank was only required to do three kata at the time, was Sanshin Seisan, and this one, Sansei Ryukata. I grew up in a very small town in western Pennsylvania, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. My father and brother were all worked in a, in a steel mill there, and they tried to uh, to get me to work in there in the, in the steel mill also. Uh, I, I, I can recall one day sitting down at the dinner table, and my older brother taking out his handkerchief and it, he put it up to his mouth and he coughed. And he showed it to me, and on the, on the white handkerchief was just black soot, where that was he was inhaling in his lungs when he, from working in the steel mill. And I, at that point, uh, I, I made up my mind that I didn't want any part of that. After graduating from high school, uh, I uh, decided to enter the military, U.S. Army, um, after basic training in Fort Jackson, North Carolina, and and advanced training in, at, in Fort Jackson, North Carolina, and also some additional training at uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, I, was, uh, I received assignment orders to go to Okinawa. I was very happy to receive those, receive those assignment orders. Once I got to Okinawa, again, I was eventually assigned to U.S. Army Special Forces, where I began to cross-train in various different types of uh, uh, military oc occupational specialists, specialists like uh, uh, demolition and communicate radio communications, and I eventually, at, at uh, once uh, once I got up to a low rank, I was uh, uh, promoted to an operational intelligence NCO, was which my which became my primary job after going through the other training that I went through uh, in special forces. I, I served four tours in Vietnam. Uh, and and other places in Southeast Asia, uh, the, the the training was was uh, that I received in Special Forces uh, enabled me to to operate in 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 those, those environments and in the various various countries that I, I was I had to visit. There there were times when I on operations that uh, when things got pretty pretty hot. 
And I mean, I was under, you know, become you come under intense enemy fire, and I think, well, you know, maybe did, did I make the correct choice of joining special forces? And uh, yeah, but but uh, you know, I, I've seen my my friends uh, just uh, uh, just hang in there and just not give up. So I I, I was made a decision that I would never give up or or or. or uh, or, or, or decide to do something different. I, this is something that I wanted to do, and this is something I was proud of doing. Being assigned to Special Forces, we uh, did some hand-to-hand -hand combat, U.S. Army type hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I personally didn't feel that that was uh, enough or sufficient to to deal with the situation that I was expecting to do, uh, expecting to be in when I. Uh, uh, went off to, to actual combat, so I, I thought it would be best for me to to search out something else, like like for example karate that some of my other uh, my other friends was, were, were already into. And so I thought that by studying what to do karate, that it would increase my longevity uh, and 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 allow me to to deal with any situation that I have. And I think that karate was, was much, more, uh, much more effective than, than the type of uh, simple military uh, combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat that we received. Not only me, but, but, but my, my comrades, like I said, my comrades were also into various uh, other styles of, of karate. Uh, it's most of the majority of them were in the ones that I knew were studying what to do karate, but there were other one others that did other styles also like Shodan Yu and and Goju do. Uh, but I I was uh, I chose what to do number one because of my friends there and that I could walk from my base to to the dojo, which made it really convenient for me to. But once I got there, and I, like I say, I, once starting and training and and, and conditioning and uh, and actual the actual hand to hand sparring that we did in in uh, in what you do karate, I know that that, that would be uh, very very beneficial. With it. Not only with my my balance and my coordination and my ability to handle myself when and if I had to come into a hand to hand combat situation with. Uh, an enemy soldier. What you do, karate. Uh, you know the, the the physical conditioning is is is, is such that will it, it will it will help you uh, overcome any any adversary. You know, uh, uh, I'm, I I look at uh, you know karate versus what do you call it? functional. Combat, uh, what some would call functional combat, I, 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 I believe, and I feel that uh, one that has relies on the functional karate, it certainly will. But but the karate person, per person, karate kawa, uh, they they have the, the additional training of, of conditioning their body and making the body hard, and making them, you know, there's there's uh, there's ways that the body the body moves. When you are delivering strikes, you know that uh, can appear as though you're not, you're not, uh, uh, so to speak, you're not using a lot of f physical tension, so to speak. You know. uh, karate, Sanchin Kanta, for example, gives you a false impression that that you're really tension it, but but that's not the point. As, as you're performing in the Sanchin Kanta, you should your breathing should be soft. And as you're, as you're breathing, you, your body moves slowly and quickly. It's like a wave that moves through the body. You know? And the wave moves through the body. And as the waves, you're striking, you know, and then at, your, at the proper time or the movement, you kind of, what you call, muchiken. Uh, muchiken, snapping the motion here. Bow, bow, and then snap. And then, but but there's, no, there's, no, there's no tension there. Uh, you know, when you when you're tensing, it's it's sort of like a false way of when someone's looking at you. Say, well, that guy is he's really he's really really hard and focused and he's strong. He, it really he's not though. It, it's, it's it's a relaxation. It's a soft re tension relaxation as a person is moving through the technique. You know, snapping, but pow, pow, 
Uh, I, my initial thought when I was uh, traveling to Oakland, being assigned to Okinawa, was that I wanted to study judo initially. When I, when I, so one of the first things that I did when I came to Okinawa, when I, I asked some of my individuals that were in my unit, uh, you know, where could I find a good judo school? And they said, ah, you don't want to study judo, you want to study karate. And I'd never heard of karate before. And the guy said, uh, he said, well, you see that guy sitting in the chair over there? And I said, yeah. He said, he's doing karate. I said, what's he doing? And he was, took his hand and he was going. And I thought, well, I don't want any part of that. You know, so I said, he's just banging his hands up. So, so he said, he, but he told me there's more, more to karate than, than just pounding the hands or making your knuckles tough or, or whatever. Um, and there were some other guys in my unit too that were currently enrolled in the Fatima Dojo under Master Uichi Kanye Sensei. And I, I asked those guys, you know, uh, something about the training. They said, it's very, very interesting. And I know if you join it, if you join, you would, you would like it. You'd be very, very happy with it, doing it. So I decided to, to, uh, to, to, to locate or, or to seek it out. And, and, and so it happens that I had a day off and I was walking around the, the little town of Fatema, walking around in a circle there, and I, I couldn't find the dojo. And I thought, well, and I searched for about an hour and I couldn't find it. And I found it was, I was about to give up and I, uh, I saw this young gentleman coming down the street and I asked him, I said, where, do, you, do you know where there's a karate school around here? And he said, yeah, he said, it's right up on that hill. So I'd been walking around the hill all for a couple of hours. Never dawned on me to look up and, 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 and there, there the dojo was. So I, I went up and uh, it was uh, probably about 1.30 in the afternoon at the time. And the dojo was closed. We had, we, we had classes at that time. It's, classes would start at 2. But I knocked on the door and Master Wechi came out. Wechi Kanye since they came out. And so, you know, using my sign language and whatever little bit of Japanese I knew at the time, I said I would like to en enroll in, in the school and I'd I like to learn karate. And he said, uh, yeah. And he took out a piece of paper and he was drawing something. And it was a map that he was drawing. It was a map of a location where I could go and purchase a, a karate gi at the time. So, and he said, and, and he did that, and he said, you know, two o'clock, go get the gi, then come back at two o'clock. Now, remind me, I'm, I'm at, at the time, I'm, I'm in really good physical conditioning at that time. So I'm thinking, this is not gonna be, you know, the actual training itself is not gonna present a problem to me. So I go back and I, I purchase the uniform and then I come back and then there's a, a couple other people that are getting ready to join the class and I and I go in and I think well this is going to be really this is going to be a piece of cake you know so I get and I'm doing I'm doing the warming up exercises which, which is Master Witchy, uh is, is is leading at the time so and I'm like wow but this is this is different these are different kind of exercise you know I, I you know I'm I'm, I'm physically fit. But this is a little bit, and the first thing that entered my mind is that this is going to be really difficult. This is going to be a difficult process of learning, uh, learning karate. But I made up my mind at that moment, I'm, no, I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to quit until I get really good at, 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 at doing karate. And, and my teacher, uh, Wichi Kanye Sensei, who happened to be, the, he's the son of the founder of uh, Wichi Nu Karate, was the first son of Wichi. Kambu uh, he, he, he just looked at me and he, and he just he would guide me uh, every for example our, there's only three three kata in this system I, I, I'm sorry three major kata in this system Sanchin Seisan San Siryu uh, Sanchin is the first kata that we learn you know the very, very first beginner right? and he took me step by step you know every every major Every time I would step, he would, he would correct it. And then he wouldn't let me move until I had it, you know, perfect, just about perfect. Then, I would, then he would signal me to move again. And I did it. And this went on for, for, for a number of months. And that, all, I, I, all I worked on was Sanshin Kata. But again, I, 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 I said to myself, I, I, you know, this is hard. This is difficult. It's going to require a lot of patience, but I'm never going to quit. 
I'm never going to quit. And what you do karate, for most people that have seen it, there's a lot of, uh, lot of conditioning. We do a lot of pounding, or kote kitai, ashikitai, you know. And then we start doing that, you know, my arms would, would hurt so bad. I thought, well, maybe my, I might change my mind about never quitting again. I mean, never quitting. But I, I, just, I just hung in and I, I, I just decided that I wasn't going to quit. Uh, there was a young man in, in the class, uh, I can't think of his name right now, but he would, he would pound my arms so hard that I, I, swear, I said, my, my arms are broken. You know, and I told him, I said, look, you know, my arms are broken. I'm not going to quit, but my arm is broken. And he, and he just said, no, 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 get over here. So he hit me again a couple more times. I said, I, for sure they're broken now. I said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the hospital, get a cast on, and come back, and we'll continue training. He said, he slapped me on the head and said, no, get back over here. You ain't going nowhere. You're not going <laughs> in, his, in, his, in his best, you know, broken Japanese. Or, you know. He said, no, you get over here. You're not going anywhere. So, so that would, and, and we, we developed a real good uh, uh, relationship with him. And, and, was, and that was a kind of uh, uh, relationship that I developed with, with all of the, the, the guys, the students in, in, in the dojo. They were all, all willing to help. And... Uh, and, and the, the, the amount of respect that everyone showed to which Kanye Sensor, our teacher, was, was just phenomenal. It was just, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't something that he did not demand that we showed him. But by his actions, the way that he conducted himself, we wanted to just simply follow in his footsteps. And that's the way all of the, all of the students that trained with me in, in the Fatema Dojo uh, we we just had that that respect and that admiration for Wichi Kanye Sensei. Someone you know the the, the you know we, often we hear the the, the, the styles of of karate or or uh, developed from from the movements of animals. You know, for, for example, in what you do, it's a tiger, the crane, and the dragon. So someone asked me once. Uh, if you're looking at Master Witchy, which one of those animals would you say? I said, neither one of them. I would say a gazelle, because when he moved, he moved with such grace, and his form was such that it, it was smooth and fast and quick. It's like a gazelle. So I told that to some one of the senior students who had asked me that and said, a gazelle, what's, you know, I said, yes, a gazelle. But he moved like a gazelle, but he had the power and the strength of a tiger, the grace of the crane and, and, and the determination of a, of, a, of a dragon as a dragon moves his hip and he moves with, with a great amount of determination. When I, when I trained in the Fatima Dojo, uh, we, Master Wichi taught on, uh, taught, he, he, we taught a noon class from two to roughly about four o'clock. And then he would go to the Koza Dojo on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. He would teach at that dojo. And on, uh, Takara Sensei, Takara Shinto Sensei would teach on the odd days. Like Takara Sensei would teach on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, uh, and they would actually flip flop. So I had, so I had the the best of the the way to look. I of course certainly I had Master Wichi as my primary teacher, and then Takara, which which was just it had, it was just an amazing guy, and still is, and, and he's he's ninety three years old, and he's he's still. Uh, uh, moves with authority and 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 ha ha commands the respect of all of the all of the uh, junior personnel in Uchiru Karate. And when I come when I visit Okinawa, I make it a point to go see uh, Takara Sensei. Like I went to see him, I went to his son's dojo uh, this week to train, and then I went to see him personally. Uh, couple days after that, and we, we just sit down and had a nice, easygoing conversation about uh, training, still training in Uchidu Karate, and uh, uh, his training, and, and the training of, of old that we did uh, uh, in, in the past. Uh, he, he's a phenomenal person, and uh, uh, his, his kata is just uh, really something to be admired. If I believe correctly, I think I, w I was the first American to be selected as a judge uh, at the International Wichita Karate Tournament back 
Ben, and I, I think uh, based on my experience of uh, being training in the dojo and sparring in the dojo and uh, receiving the knowledge from my, my senior my senior classmates at the dojo, I, I, I think I, they felt that I was qualified to be, to be a judge. After retiring from the military, I, uh, I relocated to uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, where I, I currently teaching at, at my dojo there. I've been teaching for, for the past 40 years. Uh, let me say I have also taught at the community college at Kalamazoo Valley Community College for over 20 years. And teaching my students, I tried to teach my students the way that Master Wei should you, you, you teach with, with, with courtesy and respect. The two most important things in, of the study of any style of karate is courtesy and respect. If you don't have the courtesy and respect, you're just doing street fighting. You know, there's, 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 yeah. That's, that's very important. I always tell my students that, you know, anytime I have a promotion exam, and my students, I, the first question I ask them about, what's the two most important things of karate? They all say, you know, being able to punch, being able to kick. That's only, you, that, that's a very small you, part. You? If, you, 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 if you don't have the courtesy and you don't have the respect, uh, you, 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 you're missing the main point of you? what karate is all about. Karate do I have a student of mine, a former student of mine, he's, he's re retired now. He had a lucrative business. He was a optometrist and he was company was was doing very well his, his accountant ripped him off for about over a hundred thousand dollars really really gave really angered my my student so he comes to me I'm I, I didn't know about this situation until he told me later but he comes to me and he wants to study karate I said sure you know I, I have no idea but he, he trained for me for trained with me under me for a couple of couple of years, and then he finally came up to me one day and he said, uh, "Mr. Thompson, I, I want to thank you." And I'm thinking, about, "Thank you what?" I think, "What what are you, what are you thanking me for the, for the training?" He said, "No." He said, "I came to you because I wanted to learn martial arts because I was going to kill that guy. I didn't want to go out and shoot him or beat him with a club. I wanted to beat him up or kill him with my hands." And he said, I want to thank you, me, he wanted to thank me for teaching him the proper way and the proper meaning of, of, of karate, particularly what you do karate. You know, we're not, we're not fighting here to kill anyone. Uh, so certainly we gain, we gain the ability to do that, but it's in the self-confidence. You know, that's, that's the thing, you know, you, you, you want to do in karate, the purpose of karate. You, you're learning self-defense, you're learning how to uh, control your body and control, the, but the discipline. You know, uh, after the, the the conditioning process you go through, you know, you 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 you, you learn that you make your body your body become strong. My, my sensei used to say, from the head of your, from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, if you do this properly, if you do sanchin properly, do it the way I show you. Your whole body will be strong. You become very very strong, and you can defend yourself. And you need to take care of yourself. So, so that's, that's the, the, the thing that, uh, you know, and I've had a number of students come and, and, and say, you know, I want to thank you for teaching me the way of karate, not just a, 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 a means of going out and hurting someone or being a bully. Huh? You know, and they, my students know I, I, I won't tolerate that anyhow. If you, if you got an act like that, you, you know, you know I'll, I'll show them the door. You, you know, you got to. Yeah, as you can attest to my students here, that that that, that I won't tolerate that. Yeah, you know? and and that's that's the, that's the thing. It's it's really really important, a very very important aspect of karate and martial arts, the budo, the way the way of karate. It's not it's not you're not here to injure. My personal feeling, this is my personal feeling. If if everyone understood the true meaning of budo. There would, uh, we could do away with all of these weapons, you know. We spend more time and energy trying to destroy each other uh, rather than trying to, to cooperate and be friends with each other. Uh, my, my, my friend, very good close friend of mine, uh, Iha Seikichi Sensei, well, he always says that, you know, we're, he teaches karate so that everybody 
everybody can be friends. That's, that's what we're striving for, to be friends. Friendship is, is, a, is a key to the martial arts. Uh, certainly, I, I've, uh, I've been in you know, situations where people have confronted me or tried, and I've, I've, I've had the, 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 the discipline to just, just walk away. And I, and I know, if, even if the end of, because of my conditioning, uh, that I've gone through, undergone through in, in karate. I know that even if the individual did strike, you know, uh, I, I have ways to ward it off where I'm not going to be, it's not going to be a threat, it's not going to be a damage. I'm in very, I'm in very, very good health, you know. I, 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 I spent 20 years in the military and, and 19 years of that was in, in the parachute, the U.S. Army Special Forces, Green Berets. Uh, I've done a lot of Things and I've, I've 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 done a lot of traveling. I've had several tours in Vietnam and, and and other places. And some of the stuff that I that I that I've done is is it's currently still classified that I can't mention. But it's uh it's 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 a, it's been a pleasure. And uh, like I say, you know, karate. People ask, ask me every day, do you use karate every, every day or how often do you? I said, yeah, I, I do. I do. I use it every day. I feel, my, this is my personal feeling now. If everyone understood the true meaning of karate and the true meaning of budo, I mean, we could just, we could eliminate all the, all the warfare that's going on right now. Yeah. That, that is my personal opinion. Uh, but I know for a fact that there are people in this world that could care less whether I took another breath. And there are some that are, are trying to ensure that I don't take another breath. Those I have to deal with in a different way. But you have to suffer the consequences. If you approach me with that idea, with that, with that, with that mentality, that mindset, then you got to deal with the consequences. Speaking of... of uh, Karate and and this modern stuff that we see now. Uh, when I say modern, I say tournament type karate or tournament type. Uh, I guess you call it karate. Uh, people get an enjoyment of it, and I, I don't. I don't condemn them for that. I mean, if that's your pleasure, if that's the way you want to approach the martial arts, that's fine. But. Uh, you, you got to look at it a little differently. There, there's uh, there's more to martial arts than yeah. Uh, I have uh, a number of friends of mine that uh, that uh, have participated in 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 tournament style of karate, and they've done well. Uh, but uh, that that's that's not for my. I, I I come. I approach it. I approach it differently. My current sensei is Sunaga Yoshitune sensei, who has a dojo in uh, Tomigu School. And currently when I come back, visit Okinawa, I always go visit and train with him, as well as my students. But I, I, re, I remember training back with him back in the early, early 60s also when I was here. And he was, he's, he's always been a, a real good friend and a really good practitioner, technician. Kata is very, very good. So when he visited the Fatima Jojo, uh, we would train and, 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 and train very hard together. And he's the, the one that has promoted me to my current rank of uh, Hanshi Judan. He, uh, like I say, his, his, dojo, his dojo's in, in uh, uh, Tomigu School and uh, has, a, has a number of students there that are really, really, really good. And, and again, the camaraderie and, and the friendship, and I, I, I can feel the same sense of Brotherly love that we feel with, 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 that should be in all of karate, but I can feel that with him, and, and I can say he's he's the one that promoted me to to kudan and also to my current rank of uh, hachi judan. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, and my my students always enjoy visiting him with him and his students. And uh, again, it's always I'm always looking forward to training with him. Very, very good technician. Very, very strong. And you, if you notice, if you, I don't know if you've seen him. Sometimes he's demonstrating the technique, striking with the with the bow skin on the makawari. And the, and the shokin, utilizing the shokin on the makawari, and the way that he does this technique and bring it here and then moving 
Yeah. So it's a pleasure with him. And uh, again, again, training with him and his students. Uh, a couple of days ago, we had a uh, Karate Nuhi, Karate Day, where everyone set was Okinawan celebrated. And I had the opportunity to sit with uh, Sunago Sensei and watch the uh, practitioners perform, you know, some of the basic kata, and listening to Sunago's comments on uh, how, how the students perform and how, they, how well they look. It was just a good feeling to, to sit there and watch him and be with him. I asked him when we, before the, before the event started, I said, are you going to walk, you know, are, are you and I going to walk with, with the students? He said, no. Would you, we're going to sit here and just observe and, and just see and, and, and enjoy that way. And, and if there's any correction that we need to make later, we'll do that at some other time. But, but right now we're going to. But again, having to just to sit there, I could just feel the, the, uh, the uh, I guess, the, the warmth that you get from a, from a, from a friend and a, and a teacher like that. So it's, it's definitely a pleasure. Having been in the military and, and some of the operations that I've been on and some of the, you know, and jumping out of airplanes for almost 20 years, it takes a toll on your body. But some of the, my, my joints are a little, a little sore right now. However, I uh, try not to let that bother me and just overlook that and just continue to, continue to, uh, continue to train. Training through the pain. Yeah, in addition to, to learning uh, what you do karate for just the the life-saving aspect, the juicy side of it. Uh, once I began to train and to get into it more deep, I found that there was more, uh, there was a deeper meaning uh, in the study of uh, karate and, and, and budo, uh, different, different things that affect how, how you relate to, to, your, to your friend, your, your family, your, and, and those other people that are around you. It, it's, it's, a, it's amazing that again that I, I although I had that uh, developed that ability to to use a martial art, I, I knew exactly when and where uh, to apply that that knowledge and and when and when not to uh, so to speak get over get carried away with it and needlessly injure someone out of. Uh, something negative that, that I did. My wife, uh, Hideko, is, uh, is an Okinawan, and we have three lovely children. My daughter, Iris, who also trained in karate when she was stationed here on Okinawa back in several years ago. And my son, Marcus, who also trains uh, in karate, and, and my youngest son, Michael, who also trains in, in karate, uh, where to do karate. I wasn't the best person you know, uh, when I first arrived on Ogun. I, I had a lot of young energy that I had to, so to speak, had to get rid of uh, other than outside of karate. So, And when I met my wife, she, she kind of helped me adjust to the Okinawan you know, community and the lifestyle. She would always tell me that uh, you swear too much. You use too much foul language. So you need to stop. If you want to date me, you need to stop doing that. And I thought, well, maybe you need to change. And, and I just changed. I, I, I just changed. I just, I just dropped a lot of bad habits that I had uh, uh, after we, after the conversation. And then, then the, also talking to Wichi Sensei, Wichi Kanye Sensei, and seeing how he led his life. He never, he never consumed any alcohol. Uh, he was al always very polite and, uh, and, and treated everyone with, 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 with dignity and respect. And I, uh, if I wanted to be something, that I wanted to follow in, that, in, that, in his in footsteps and also you know, listen to my wife and uh, make sure I was you know, doing the right thing. I was treating, treating people right and, uh, and uh, just being, being, becoming a good person.